Hello everybody. I'm not going to be able to do theme Thursday because I don't have anything circus related. So I'm just going to go ahead and change Sela into an outfit. And I thought I would chat a little bit. I know there's a reborn tag going on of um, by Suzanne's babies. And it's basically, why are we really into the hobby? And so I'll chat briefly about that. I'll try to keep it not as long because um, it is a long story but I'll try to shorten it so anyway let me get over here and start changing her I already took her little shorts off so um, if you are new to my channel um, I did have infertility issues and getting pregnant <clears throat> and me and my husband tried for many 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 years uh, of course, now we have our happy ending and we have two twin boys that we were blessed with. Um, but I did have infertility issues. And while I was going through those very, very hard times, I stumbled upon the Reborns. Um, I grew up, of course, little girl loving dolls. I didn't have a lot of dolls. Um, I didn't collect dolls that's for sure um, but I did love playing with them and of course I was the oldest of three and so I helped pretty much raise my brother and my sister and I always had a love for babies and I love to babysit so I would babysit my cousins and of course my own siblings and so the nurture part of me was always present and when I was having infertility issues, it was, it was really, really hard for me to think that maybe I wouldn't be a mom. And having those nurturing instincts, um, as all women do, and not to be able to fulfill those was really hard. So um, when I stumbled upon the Reborns and I purchased my first one, I was so excited to be able to hold a baby that was lifelike, you know, as a baby um, and shop for the baby and nurture and I guess, you know, be able to go in the baby section and buy baby stuff for my doll. And it was really exciting. It was fun and really therapeutic for me. I know that it would never replace a real baby because we all know that would never happen but it was fun for me to get my mind off all of the things that were going on in my personal life in the road to having children and of course I had several miscarriages going through infertility and then of course in 2016 I was blessed to conceive on my own without any, any, any infertility drugs, my two twin boys. And so they are definitely God's miracle. So that is why I was in the hobby um, and why I love reborns and why I have them um, is for that comfort of a baby and to hold a baby and change a baby and that feeling you get. I know other women have described it like a little sensation that comes over you, that motherly instinct that some of us didn't have the pleasure of having. Um, so you're probably thinking well, now you have two babies. Why do you still want to be in the hobby? Well, my love for, for children and babies will never go away. Even if I had six children, um, you only get your real babies for so long. They're only this tiny for a blink of an eye, it feels like. And so to be able to have a baby that will stay this size that you could cuddle and hold is amazing, whether you have children or not. 
and my children, they are going to be two in December and they're getting so big and I miss that tiny baby factor. I miss that cuddling, that newborn baby and swaddling and bottles and pacifiers and all that stuff that comes along with a newborn. I truly, truly miss it. And so having these reborns just gives me a little piece of that and that'll never go away. Never, never, never. Um, just because your children are here, that feeling of wanting to still hold a baby never goes away. So I will always continue to be in this hobby if I can, um, because I love it so. <laughs> I think this is too high. But if I put it on the next one, he might be too low. leave it on this one right here. This really fits her good. Um, this is a Carter's newborn um, and it's stretchy. It smells like cotton. Here we go. So that was pretty much my explanation in a nutshell for why I love the hobby, why I continue to. Um, you know, everyone has their reasons and a lot of ours are the same. It is the love of children and the way that these sculptors and artists capture the beauty and the essence of a baby is truly amazing truly amazing and especially when the artists start to paint the babies and they come to life and it just takes you right back to when you had your own children and looking at them for the first time I, I'll, I'll never forget you know seeing Ethan and Jonah in the hospital and I would oh, I could just snap my fingers and go back to that day, I would, because even though as a new mommy, you're very tired, you're sleep deprived, you know, you're nervous, you have anxiety about all these new things that are changing in your life. Honestly, it was the best and still is the best. Um, I love being a mom. And so just having this little bit of quiet time to dress a baby, to snuggle her is just so sweet and comforting and fun. Just, just fun. It is fun to dress um, our reborns. It's just like having a Barbie doll. You know, I had Barbie dolls growing up and I loved to dress her and put her little dress on and her high heels or her purse. Um, I think of that the same way with a reborn, you know, we accessorize them, we dress them up and we make them look pretty. And, you know, we all are still kids at heart. You know, I am, and a lot of us are, I still do a lot of things that are very childlike just because I am at the age that I am doesn't mean you stop being a child. I think that is one of the most wonderful gifts to have is to still feel like a kid inside and share that with your own children or grandchildren. Um, it's an amazing gift. So I'm going to finish dressing her now. I'm going to see if these, these little Mary Janes will fit her. I'll put some socks on and um, see how it goes. Um, we had a wonderful time celebrating my husband's birthday over the weekend. So thank you to those who said happy birthday to him. It was great going out of town and enjoying the nice weather. Um, Cause California, let's face it, <laughs> they have beautiful weather. I mean, the traffic may be really obnoxious, <laughs> but the weather is beautiful there. 
Um, it's still in the hundreds here in Arizona. I don't know if and when it's going to cool down. Uh, I don't know. We might have a warm October. Not sure. We used to have a lot of monsoons every summer. We didn't have a lot of monsoons this year. And it, last night we got one. We got a big storm last night and there are leaves everywhere in the front yard. Let me just scoot her up a little bit. There are tons, tons of leaves in the front yard from our big ficus tree. And oh my gosh, it's going to be a job cleaning that up. Let's see if we fit her with. See, I think if it's a lot better with a sock on. They're so sweet. What do you guys think? I think those look so cute on her. It's hard to tell. <laughs> Um, let's see, who are these by Bay Pods, made in England. Bay Pods, and they're so soft, and they have a little button right here that is what you attach the shoe with. So sweet. So yeah, we've got a job to do to clean up that front yard. Um, I've been seeing so many beautiful babies on Instagram and YouTube, and I'm thinking about what baby I want to get next, what baby I want to save up for, um, and have one of my favorite artists paint. But it is definitely hard to choose a kit because there's so many beautiful ones out there. And then what size? And do I get an open-eyed or a close-eyed? Um, that's another hard question to ask myself because I do have Selah and she's close-eyed. So I thought, oh, you know, maybe I'll get another um, sleeper. I love sleeping babies, but I also really love um, awake babies. So I'm kind of torn. I'm really, really torn, and I don't, I don't know how to choose. Um, this, this is going to be like a Christmas present to myself. I'm already saving up, trying to get a deposit, um, but I haven't picked a kit, and I don't want to send the artist my deposit yet until I know I don't want to have to switch things on her and you know waste her time and I absolutely am not a hundred percent sure um, and she's very very um, patient with me <laughs> as I am trying to come to terms to what it is I want and it's just difficult I really don't have a preference. I used to love nothing but sleepers when I first got into the hobby. Um, and then I loved how much um, the awake babies looked. They really started to change their face, their expressions. When I first got into the hobby, there wasn't too many awake babies that I was crazy about. A lot of them just had that blank stare to them and they kind of gave me the heebie-jeebies um, <laughs> and uh, now when you buy an awake baby I mean they have so much personality and so much life because the artists the way they have sculpted their face and the way that they make their eyes look like they're smiling is so much more pleasable to the eye than say some of the older kits that just kind of have that blank deer in the headlight look. Uh, so I'm just, I really got to make up my mind and 
hurry up um, and what I want to pick. But I hope you enjoyed the tag. Again, it was from Suzanne's Babies. Thank you, Suzanne, for coming up with a tag. I really like tags. Um, they're fun and they get to let us know a little bit about each other. Even though <clears throat> a lot of us sometimes don't want to share certain things, I think it is really good to share um, certain things because a lot of us have similar backgrounds or things in common. Um, I really liked Holly Church. Um, she did the tag and I got very emotional watching her video. Um, it really, really touched me because it hit on very key points that were the same similarities that I had. So um, definitely go check her video out. But that's about it, guys. Here's my sweet girl, all dressed. Uh, I think I might just use the same headband, actually, because, I mean, she's pretty much wearing cream and white and all the same color, so why not have her wear the same headband? Oh, what a sweet girl. Oh, I just love her. I really missed her when I was gone. And it took me until today to finally get on and make a video because just the process of coming home from a trip and kind of just getting back on the groove, you know, we've all been there and um, I've just been resting and trying to catch up on house things. And so today I thought today would be a great day to do that. So anyway, you guys have a wonderful Thursday. I'll be hopefully back on tomorrow. Um, if not, the next week. All right, everyone take care and thank you again for watching and leaving your lovely comments. All right, guys, bye.